For this project, we're going to use our bracelet memory wire, two sets of beadings, a type of cord to tie macrame, fish hook earring findings, our wire cutters, flat nose pliers, and round nose pliers. Hey guys, Melissa here again. Uh, my project for today is to show you how to make something similar to these macrame earrings. So you, see, you know the, the style of the bracelets which are very popular right now and with the Shambhala beads. Like I've made bracelets such as this. And you'll see a lot of people wearing them mainly with these beads. I made with hemp. Things like that. So what I thought was how cute would that be in an earring? And how would I do that to keep a nice shape? So here's what I came up with. So that's what we're going to do today. So we'll need our memory wire first. So we're going to need to cut off two complete circles for each ear. So we hold it together and where, oops, where the end meets the other wire, we cut. So I have one, say one complete circle. And the second one. Oops. We'll line it up so that they match so they're the same size. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so we have our two circles of memory wire. So Start off with one. As we always start off when we're making hoop earrings using memory wire, we take our round nose pliers and we will grab the end. See what I'm doing? I grab the end of the wire and I'm going to curl it backwards like that. Holding it funny, but curl it backwards onto itself. So that way we have a nice loop. Okay. So that Now we take our cord that we're using. I decided this time to use this white waxed cotton cord, which you could find in the craft shop. Take a fair, a decent amount, because it's better to have too much than not enough, because you don't want to run out of your cording when you're halfway done your bracelet. And because you're making knots all along, you're going to need to be, a, oh, sorry, your earring. It's going to need to be a little bit longer for all the knots. I think this is way too long, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes for the first one. You can use your wire cutters to cut that off. So here's my cord. Now, to get it on now, I'm going to take my cord and put it through the loop here. Okay? And I'll pull the cord until the two ends meet. Okay, so it's just halfway down. And then now I'll do a simple knot to tie it. Just like when you're tying your shoelaces, that kind of regular knot. Nothing fancy yet. Okay. If you can see that. Nothing special yet. Now the tough part is the macrame. It's easy once you get the hang of it. But to initially get the hang of it, <laughs> it takes a bit of practice. So maybe you, if you want, you can try on a bracelet first. It's not in this curved form. It might be a little bit easier. So. So we take one end. And we're going to cross it behind. Maybe the easiest thing to do would be to show you how to macrame a bracelet first. By the way, for those who know how to macrame, it's right. I'll I'll continue on. For those who don't, I will put up a another tutorial showing exactly how to macrame, which I maybe should have done <laughs> first. So, anyway, so I took the um, the one string and I put it behind the metal. 
the memory wire my goodness I can't speak so behind the memory wire and in front of the other side okay so right here it's behind see the memory wire and here's the other cord and this one comes in front okay and this is going to be the basic step for everything so the next time we're going to do the opposite with the other side okay we're going to go over this time over the memory wire and behind the other cord so it looks like this oops okay and then you put up so let's do it again we take one cord we put it and we always do alternating patterns, okay? So we put this in front of the memory wire and behind the other one, okay? Like this. And so we take the other side now and we go behind the memory wire and in front of the other side and as I'm saying it I realize how confusing this sounds so I think what's best is to I'll make a video on how to do macrame or you could also look it up on YouTube there's, that's actually how I learned there's a lot of great channels showing you how to do macrame so once I get that one up then you can come back to the earring one for those who already know how to macrame I'll continue on and you'll, and you'll understand what I'm doing. For those who don't know how to macrame, you can either look on YouTube, as I said, or I will have another video up shortly on how to macrame exactly. So I'll continue macrame. We'll go on. Since I only decided to put three beads on this earring, most of it will be made up of the macrame. It's up to you how many beads you want to put onto your earring. Just make sure you space them out evenly so that you don't have a whole bunch of them on one side and nothing on the other side. Or make them look lopsided. Okay, so I'm going under the wire, over the cotton, over the wire, and under the cotton. Over, over, and under. Under and over, and again, over and under. So I'll continue on until I have enough of the macrame portion. So here's what it looks like so far. Okay. Me as well, I'm going to put my first bead on now. So on the other free end of the wire, we slip on our bead and we push it right up to our knotting. And so now we go around the bead. Okay, so here's the bead. So I'll go under my wire and over over the string on the other side okay. and then I'll take the other end and go over my wire and under the cotton of the other side just like this and you pull it up and that's how it looks Pretty cute. And so we'll continue on our macrame. I'm going to pause the video here and I'll start it back up when I'm closer to the end. 
Okay, and as I said, um, I'll make a video on how to macrame. I apologize, I should have done that first. Because it's easier to learn how to macrame a bracelet than to macrame on this memory wire that's moving around. I learned how to do it on a bracelet. And I then I made a necklace with it. Took me actually a few tries to actually finally get it the right pattern going and to understand exactly what I was supposed to do. So, here we are. I'll pause the video here and I'll start it back up when I'm closer to the end. Okay, so I'm back. I finished most of my bracelet, my earring. I keep saying bracelet. So this is how it looks right now. Yeah, I put one of those evil eye beads and some light blue beads to accent it. So now I have an equal amount of knotting on each side, so I'm going to end it off. Okay. So, I'll end it by making a regular knot first. Just like when you're tying your shoe. Okay. Now I have a little bit too much wire at the end here. So I'm going to get my wire cutters and I'm going to cut off the excess. I'm just going to leave enough so I can make my loop backwards. So I'll cut around here. Now I'll take my round nose pliers and just like I made the first loop, I'm going to do the same with the second. I'm going to grip it at the end and curl it backwards onto itself. Okay, so grip the end and curl backwards until I have a complete circle that's completely closed. So there you go. Okay. Now, just like I did with the other one, I'm going to stick one end of the cotton through the loop. And I'll tie another knot and make it secure. Okay. Now I'll do one last knot just to make sure that everything's not going to unravel in uh, a week's time. Sorry, let me pass it back through. I want to try and make it look as neat as possible so it doesn't just look like a bunch of knots. So I tie my last knot. Okay, pull it extra tight. And now we're done. So the last thing that we're going to need to do is attach our metal earring findings and of course cut off the excess string. Now I cut off the string somewhat close to the end but not not all the way up at the knot as it's going to unravel. So I cut mine about there. One. If you want, you could trim off a little bit more. I don't mind the look of it. Okay, now we take our fish hook earring finding and our round nose pliers and we open the loop on the bottom of the finding. Sorry, like that. And we stick it through both loops. close my loop. So I like to use my flat nose pliers but if you want you can use your round nose pliers. I'm going to close the loop of my fish hook earring finding. 
And there you go, you have your logo. Your macrame earrings. It's just something different. I haven't seen anybody making an earring out of this type of knotting pattern as yet, so I thought it'd be cool to try. And then of course I'll make the other earring, other side to go along with it. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna post try and find the YouTube video where I learned how to macrame and I'll post that down below in the description box so if you want you can go on there and check it out if you still can't quite get the hang of it i will make another video if um the request is there otherwise if you already know i said to macrame this should be should take you maybe 15 20 minutes to make and no one will have an earring like yours <laughs> so thanks again and thank you so much for everybody who's already subscribed I will see you very soon. Take care.